Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Superhero Anatomy. So today we will be looking at uh, the torso. So the torso is a really important part of a superhero or a superheroine. Um, and um, it is really crucial for creating dynamic figures. So, and especially when you're drawing comics, you want to create dynamic figures. So I'll just so show you... So I'm just using the pencil here in, on Clip Studio Paint, as usual. Um, I used to draw the torso like this, um, which was like a one big block, right? Like the arms will be here. Yeah, and the, and the neck will be here, right? So... <clears throat> what I notice is that this sort of created some stiff uh, figures, which we don't want, right? We want dynamic figures. So what I did was then afterwards, um, I took the advice from Jim Lee. Um, so Jim, if Jim Lee, if you don't know, is a really great comic book artist. He was one of the creators of the company called Image, which um, actually is a who gives the image is a company who gives the creators, the comic book creators, the right the total rights of the of their stories, of their characters. So um, and he's a great artist and I always watch his videos and I always take his advice. Um, so you you'll see me mention him in several times in, in these videos. So what he does is he creates it in two shapes. So, so since we're going to talk about torso and movement, like I did with my other video, I'm going to take an example of another hero, uh, which I love, and especially he's really perfect for um, using to uh, learn about movements, who is Spider-Man. Right? Um, so again, I'm just going to reduce the opacity here, and I'm going to take I think red works best so I'll just take red and I'll just try to figure out so what I'm doing here if you if you can't really figure out is I'm trying to reverse engineer what artists are doing right I'm trying to reverse engineer what artists are doing so as you can see here he did the same thing he didn't draw it and he there, there are two separate parts here. So this here, here you have the rib cage, because as I said, if you understand what's going on under the skin, you'll be able to draw what's on it, right? Um, and there is the lower part, where we have the tummy, let's say. Okay, so let's take another example. So, close this. Now, this one, I, I must agree, this is not really a great example, but I just wanted to take as many different postures as possible. So, because you know, the colors are not really, um, I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful piece, but it's just the colors were too much here. So here, as you can see, here you can see the upper part of the torso. I'm just deconstructing. So here is the hole for the neck, and then here you have the bottom part, right? And then, of course, um, here, just to as a reminder of the last episode, here, if I try to deconstruct using my method, which I use the ball for this part here, for the shoulder here, here upper upper arm, the arm, the part where there is the triceps and the biceps, and the forearm. Okay, so let's continue. Let's do the rest for the other one. Again, I reduce the opacity. I just love this. <coughs> um, again, I want to mention that of course, these are not my art, like, great artists make these art. Um, so again, we see the upper part here, and then we see the lower part here. Maybe reduce the opacity a little bit more, so you can see. 
Okay. So again, um, you know, a lot of people talk about tracing. Um, I personally haven't traced when I, uh, to learn to draw. But I'm not saying you shouldn't trace, but I think you should be able to do it um, without having to trace. Like you should be able to um, understand uh, how the artist constructed it. And uh, like I said, I, I'll, and again, uh, I'll keep repeating this in several videos, is that um, in order to have that um, uh, dynamic or like 3d shape figure you need to have um, you need to think like a sculptor you can't only think like you think like an artist so again just to show you different um, things different angles different uh, spider-man drawn by different artists and you know as as you can see like in every iteration we find these two parts right like one and two right and then finally let me just finish with the last one this is also a beautiful piece so again here so again, why do we why do we simplify? We try to simplify this, is because it will be easier for us to draw in different angles. To be it's easier to turn a simple a shape like this um, to capture the energy and then draw the details afterwards than to try to remember every detail, right? So yeah. So again, we find one, two. Okay. So. Um, so now let's come to the conclusion of this video, which is if you want to draw a torso, so this is the, this is the analogy or the, the technique that Jim Lee, uh, says it's like, it's like drawing an ant head, you know, because he says it's like, a, it looks like an ant with big eyes. And so that gives way to this kind of shape for the upper part right you see that it looks like this is the middle part this is like a, sort of represents the rib cage right so here is the neck here will be the the arms and So, so let's let me take another let's draw for example um, a figure like this So again, like separating this, if you draw it in one shape, it still looks a little bit stiff. So that's why I tried to separate it in two parts. It gives a little bit more, I don't know, it gives, it, it's a little bit more ac acrobatic. That's why I chose Spider-Man. But again, um, you can choose whatever method you want. But for me, I think the best way to draw a torso is to draw like an egg-shaped upper part with two sides where you will put your upper arm and the the arm and then below you will be put again I'm intentionally drawing smaller to sort of create this this sort of uh, figure someone running very sort of in a 
it gives a little bit more tension actually so yeah so um, so this was superhero anatomy for torso so we saw arms with Thor and um, this is this was torso with spider-man to show you the movement because it's a very acrobatic character um, so until next time this is Boris sketchman Boris if you like this video please share and subscribe and I'll see you until see you next time